Hello everybody, I am Blitz. Welcome back to uh, the fourth video of our hack and slash walkthrough. So this video contains massive spoilers on how the game works and how the puzzles are. This video will contain extreme spoilers, probably without much uh, explanation. I would encourage you to go back through and try to figure out why these puzzles are being solved the way they are. And this is the early access build, so things may change in the future. So guys, if you do want to be turned away from that, I hope you do go away from the video and not spoil yourself. Anyway, let's continue on here. We're going to go into the next room. We just exited the infinite woods over there to the left, and we're going to go down into this room. I'm going to turn off. Okay, um, Bill, basically what happens is we meet, oh, we're stuck in a cage. I'm going to turn the opacity off because we don't need that much anymore. Uh, we are stuck in the cage. If we use the space bar, we cannot open it up. So we're going to have to go in and do some actual programming. There's a cat coming up. The cat will alert the owner of the kitty. Kitty, kitty. Script is the name of the kitty. And we can't do anything until the crazy-haired lady comes up and helps us. And actually, uh, Bill is going to help us too. Bill goes crazy, and they drop this little monocle. Or Ted. Ted, sorry. <laughs> Ted is going to grab the monocle. Now we can use the monocle. If I go back in, I'm going to put the monocle on the 3 button. So we don't need the magic lamp anymore. And if I hit that over here, I get sucked down into the programming world or whatever it's called. So this is the room. This These rooms, uh, we are going to be spending a lot of time in this video in here. Uh, so this is basically the gate control area. And we can use that to hack the load bool hardware that allows the door to be hackable. You can move back in and hack the door to true. Come on down, go down to the right, up to the top, and over to the right, and we go into the main layer of the scientist that we just found. There is a scientist, there is a lot of dialogue, and you get a lot of backstory of the game if you do want to interact with her. I'm not going to for the sake of time, and it is actually kind of cool. You learn about uh, the sprites, and you learn about the main wizard. Okay, we are down into the main area here. So this is a, a node right here. We want to get the port value is 2. So the 2 on there, if I put the hat on real quick, we can see this door at the top says 4. So we want 2 plus something else. We hit 3 to use the monocle to go into the world. We want to make the final area, actually I'm going to turn the opacity on. We want to make the return down here before. So what we want to do is we want to change this load to 2. So that will take the 2 from the port, the original port, the argument. And it will add it to the 2 using here. So the port value goes into that green data crystal, brings it down into there. Plus 2 equals the magenta 1 and it returns down to that. If I go back through the door, the doors will open. And boy, that was a lot simpler than it usually is. These puzzles are crazy difficult if you're trying on, on your own. Next up, there is no port over here, but we are going to go into the next room. We are going to get locked in after we hit the white line. The dude's not going to talk to us this time, but we are going to hit 3. Go back in here. And you can see as we left that... No, let's actually go back. So this says freedom up top. Freedom is the password to get into the door. Um, oh yeah, go away. We can hit 3 to go back into this room. What we want to do, oops, sometimes that happens. You have to pay attention to where you come out in this room. So these two together, ran and dumb, equals the data crystal, returns the data. So if we change ran to free, free, we can exit. The doors will open up. Very good. So that is puzzle two. Ah, the next room. It says impossible. A is nine. 1,999, that is the argument. We're going to bring it up in here. Uh, another identical cave, we can come in here. Impossible. So this one is a little more difficult just by looking at it. What we want to do... Oh, I hope I do this right. Ah, okay. So the port value from the argument, the data crystal is 9,999. That times zero makes this argument, or this data crystal, going back down into here. If zero is less than that, then loop... So what we want to do, because this will be zero, the data crystal, we want it to be more than zero. So if we turn this to a one, that's going to work. Haha, <laughs> it actually did. <laughs> uh, 
Th those puzzles take forever if you're trying to figure them out on your own. Okay, this is the main room, one of the most difficult rooms in the entire game. And there are some clipping issues in the room too, as you can see. Uh, I'm not worried about that, but it is a lot of fun. We're going to avoid the things on the left for right now, because those are next to unimportant for the time being. Come up here, go over to here. So we have signpost, create gate. We jump on the pressure plate. It makes a gate four long, or a bridge four long, but we need it a lot longer than that. So we go into the, the world here, and you can see it says load of four. So if I change that load of four to more than four, I think the 15, actually it might be this one, let's see real quick. I think it is the next one down. Nope, it is that one. So the load of four, if we change the load of four to a higher number, we can cross the bridge. The next one is a um, a jumbled mess, kind of a, a jumbled mess that we don't really want to deal with. So we need to go into here, change this. Uh, this one is a modulus. Modulus is like division, but it gives you the remainder instead of the number. Uh, and he will explain that, Ted will explain that if you want to. Uh, listen to him jibber jabber. So what we need to do for the sake of the video is change this one to one and what that does is it leaves uh, basically everything is divisible by one so it's going to make this zero and it's going to go in a loop. I'm probably butchering the explanation of that. Some guys on the Steam forums helped out a lot but if we jump on here we can now go through and get it. One is the answer. So this one we're going to set the offset to negative 450. This will bring the long bridge two all the way over to the other one, so they're going to be friends. And then we can come back over, walking on the pressure plate. If that pressure plate doesn't go, oh, hello, this pressure plate is right here. This will activate the bridge again. So if you're off of that, like up here, uh, it'll go away. So you want to make sure you're on that pressure plate. Coming back down, another pressure plate, another pressure plate here. Very good. No pressure plate here. And come back to the left. Now, we want to go up to this room. We can walk across, whoops, well, we can fall. We can walk across and go up to here. So this is the next area. This is another puzzle. We can push these blocks on, one remaining push. Push that bad boy forward, jump around the corner, push this bad boy forward. So if you see on the wall, it says basically the pla. So these two letters, H-E-P-L, are the H-E and the P-L of the PLA. And hack here, and E-T over there. If I go in and look at, if I hit E on this thing, I can see the arguments. Um, so if you see C4 and C5, there is a T and an A and an N. We need to use the T and the A and the N to make a sentence here. So the sentence, if we go into the world, remember that block one is E-T. Block two is H-E, and block three is hack. So if we look down at the bottom, way down here, it's going to say, um, it's going to make a sentence, T-A-N. So this is this is block one, the, the light blue is block one, or the first block that we put, the order of the block. Block two is the second ordered block, and the block three is C. Um, Basically, we need to reorder this one so it says something, so it makes a word. If you remember, up at the top, um, the letters were um, hack, ET, and HEPL. So we need to make it say hack the planet. So uh, basically, what we need to do, and if you walk through this on your own, it makes a lot more sense. Change this one to one. So this, if I had mouse control, I could show you. This will make because uh, it was on three, it'll make that block on the third pressure plate over uh, on the far right of the top top video or the top screen up there. That'll bring that block into the first order. So that'll start with hack. Hack will be down in the A section of this one. And we need to make B. B is the same. H-E-P-L is the same. And the last one, the A-N, needs to go into the third position. So we can come up here, make the load the three. So all we did is we switched this, the first one to three and the light blue one to one. If we come out here, we'll get the flash on the wall that says hack the planet. And that 
makes a sealed room go off. Very cool. Up here is another platform. This platform it takes a little bit of effort to try to figure out. What happens is this is... Oh, I can use E. No, I didn't want to go in there yet. I go out. Um, this one here. I can't make the, the hacking platform go to the right. I can make it go to the left just fine, but the data pillar is broken. So we need to fix the data pillar. We come down here. Uh, the offset is zero. Which offset do I need to change? Zero is greater the offset than end. I believe it is this one. I need to change this one to, uh, which one is it? 300, I believe. If I change this to 300, then we can move it. 300 or plus doesn't really matter that much. We can go into here, and now we can move this over to 300. I think actually 250 is good enough. Yeah, 250 will work. That moved the bridge over. We can come back through here, and now we need to go through the doors down below. Ah, uh, now this is where it gets fun, because we can change passwords on doors. If we change the passwords on doors, really interesting stuff will happen. So, uh, sign outpost, if I take a look at it, hitting, um, going into this mode, I can check what the password actually is. The password is seek knowledge. So I'm going to change this password just to seek, um, because it's easy. We're going to change it to seek, and I'll show you why here in a second. Now I can enter the password of seek. Door will open, but at this door, this is where I was messing up with a lot to begin with. Uh, if we have the correct password in here, this is kind of cool, it needs password one and two. So if I go into this mode, it takes both inner and outer passwords. So the outer password it's looking for is seek knowledge. If it equals that, then it'll close the bottom door. Um, and we don't want to close the bottom door if we're still in here because it'll lock us out So we can just change this one. This one is uh, let's actually look E I believe it is change the password or change the rules is the password We can use that to change the rules. I Hope that makes sense uh, We can move this one over I need to make this at positive 250 as well. I Can show you here too uh, Yeah, let's actually do that if I if I do change this password here back to seek the rules, let's do that. Um, three. Or seek seek the knowledge. I forget what it was. I think it was seek the knowledge. Seek knowledge. No ledge. No legs. <laughs> knowledge. Seek knowledge. Okay. All right. We can close. Go back in here. That door will close. Now I can put in seek knowledge in here. I can't type, can I? That door will open, and this door will close. So if I put in this password here of change the rules, uh, it's not going to work right now. Oh well. Uh, basically, you need to change the password of this door and go into the other one. Doesn't really matter too much, but the the top one will lock if the bottom one doesn't have the password changed, or you can change both passwords. Uh, keep falling off the map. All right, to the top, to the top, to the top, and then to, oh, across the bridge, shoot, I forgot the right side. We need to go back on the bridges on the right, the platforms on the right. Let me through. Walk across this, and then walk across this one. Enter offset, I think this one goes to 200, or negative 200, and we can walk across that now. Hit the pressure plate again, walk back across and down, walk across this one down. Perfect. And then through here, up we go, long bridge. And we can cross all three long bridges up into the new area, circle around, exit the map, and we are back in the cave. So if we go talk to the guy, uh, is is gal, I guess she is. Talk to her, she'll say, congratulations, you didn't exit through the caves? 
So basically we need to go, that was a test on the right side, and we need to really go back through the left. I don't understand why we go back through the left. Uh, she gave us a new item, gave us the bomb. We're going to put the bomb on number one instead of the boomerangs. We don't really need that. The bomb is used to hack unhackable things. So I can't hack this door, but I can bomb it. And now I can go and uh, you see the black spiral at the top. Let's actually do that again with the opacity off. Opacity is off now. I can drop a bomb. The bomb is going to blow up the door and we can go through the black spiral -y thing. So you can see that. Um, if I turn the opacity back on, we can read what each of these portals do. We go into programming mode. There's the init mode, the is hackable, open set, open, close. Um, what you want to do for this part of the game is go into is hackable. This room looks very similar to one of the first rooms we were at. And we want to use true. Go back in here. And we just turned the, or we're going back one deep. This is almost Inception-like. And now we can go into the hack mode of this, open up the door, and exit. Congratulations, we have beaten the early access of the game. Uh, Act 5 will be coming up eventually, and expect another video for Act 5 of this game. Um, as of right now, I don't know when that will be, but it will be in the playlist if you will want to see it then. Uh, you do want to go and see what more of the game is. I do have a Let's Play series of the game going through all of the storyline of it. This is just a quick tutorial. Um, yeah, right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little series. And there's the credits here. We can go through and look at all the credits of the guys that have worked on it. There is Double Fine Productions. You can see all the people. Tim Schaefer, Justin Bailey, is Samos. Guys that you really should get to know. Really great people in the gaming community. Made possible by all sorts of fun stuff. Hemisphere Games, Indie Bundle, Special Thanks. And then we could exit out of here as well. And it gets us in a death loop. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And always remember, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.